Hi guys, welcome back to A Tall Life YouTube and today we're gonna start the journey. OMG, so this is big. You guys, my journey as an expat starts now. <laughs> to make some friends <laughs> amazing Matt Jack I miss you guys um, but he was telling me about a hostel that he used to work at in Thailand and he happened to mention that they were hiring so you know what that meant I was in there like swimwear for real so all I need to do was send a video of why I would be great for the position to the whatsapp but even before then, he told me to DM them and let them know that I knew him and we were good friends and that I was interested in the position. So that's exactly what I did. I DM'd them first before I even sent them a WhatsApp and you would never guess what happened. They responded. So they responded to the DM. Next thing you know, I'm sending them a message on WhatsApp. Next thing you know, they're sending me a message back on Instagram, sending me an email telling me to send them my resume. OMG, the ball started rolling. I was so excited and so ecstatic because if they weren't interested in me, then they would not have even sent me the email or even responded to the video on WhatsApp. They even responded to the video on WhatsApp, y'all. So after that, I ended up sending my resume to their email and from there they asked me to send another video and as you guys know I love languages, I love learning languages, I'm a little bit of a languages, uh, a polygot if you will and I've actually been starting to learn Thai because I've been watching a couple of you know, Thai videos and I was like why not learn Thai, this is like it sounds so good so I'm trying to learn it so. For my intro of the second video I did, I introduced myself in Thai, and then I did the video. OMG, next thing you know, they're sending me another email saying they want to set up an interview with me. And guess what? That interview was today. I actually just had that interview not too long ago. And what's funny is I interviewed with the vice president of the entire, you know, hotel brand group. So, he had just got off of an airplane and was in a taxi cab on the way to one of their locations. And that's how we had an interview. He was in his taxi, I was here, and we did it virtually. And let me tell you, it was such a great experience. I had a such a good time talking to him, getting to know more about the brand, getting to know more about him and his experiences. The next thing you know at the end of the interview, he's telling me that he'll give me some time to think about it. He said, I'll give you some time to think about it and next week HR will send you an email seeing if you still want to go through with it and then we'll start your process of onboarding. I said thank you so much, I appreciate that and we'll be in contact soon. But as soon as I got off the interview, I emailed him saying that, you know, my mom always says, you know, when it's meant to be, don't overthink it. So I would love to start this position as soon as possible with the onboarding process you guys it has begun this is just the first step in me accomplishing the things that I've always wanted to accomplish I always said that I wanted to go to fashion school in South Korea I may not be going directly to South Korea but before that I always said it would be so amazing just to move out of the country and get somewhere close a country close to South Korea that it'll make it a smoother process for me to be able to travel and get information regarding schools in South Korea even though I already know what school I want to go to and yeah so and this is great because this is my first time paying for college I've never paid for college I was on a scholarship the entire time division one basketball full ride scholarship all four years of college so I've never had to pay for school and right now I'm doing this on my own no one's helping me right now no one's you know giving me money everyone's telling me to figure it out so i'm figuring it out i'm i don't even you know have a bed like i currently sleep on the floor in my mother's room so 
I'm just so excited. It's been such a long time coming. I said I wanted to take a year off and then start this process because, you know, then after I graduated, I got kicked out, COVID was happening, and it's just been so much chaos going on in my life that I'm really just happy and so proud of myself for not giving up and continuously pushing forward, knowing that this was for me and that this is what I meant to do. So this is me, Lucky D, telling you guys to come along for the ride and let's get excited. OMG, I can't wait to share this journey with you. Oh, I have to go through my clothes. I have to pack. I need a new suitcase. At this point, I'm going to, yeah, I need a new suitcase. I'm going to need a carry-on suitcase and another big suitcase because, OMG, during my last trip, someone broke my suitcase. But that's a story for another day. We'll have a story time about that later on. But for now, that's it for me. I'll come back when I have more to share. And, yeah, get excited. It's almost that time, you guys. OMG, yay!